Heather, only twice in my life have words completely failed me. The first time you know, when I forgot my proposal speech and blurted out, will you marry me, over burnt English muffins and broken holiday sauce. I was a mess. I thought for sure I would never again be so nervous. I stayed calm through this whole process, focused on you and calming you down. Now, being apart all day, I'm nothing but nerves and anticipation. I can't wait to be together again, to stand next to you and hold your hand and see you smile. I want to do that every day for the rest of our lives. You've always said that I calm you down, but the big secret is I need you just as much as you need me. You keep me calm, you comfort me, and you make me happy. I can't believe how lucky I am to have found you. With all my love, Dylan. Dylan, today we begin our very own love story. I know without a doubt that you were made for me. There is no one else out there who understands, loves, and supports me the way that you do. You lift me up when I need support, and you know how to calm me down when I'm starting to lose my mind. I am a better person with you by my side, and I cannot wait to see you at the end of the aisle this evening. I am so excited and honored to begin a new chapter of my life with you. I love you, Heather. So there comes a time in everyone's life when they meet their soulmate. That one person that truly understands them. That moment came for Heather four years ago when she met me. <laughs> Heather, you are my best friend. I have never met anyone in my life that I could truly say I felt closer to as a friend. I feel like a sister that I never had, and I am so honored that you chose me to stand next to you today. I'm also so happy that you and Dylan found each other. I could go on about different things Dylan loves to do, but the theme's the same. He builds very supportive friendships around him in a close circle of love, doing things he loves to do, whether it be hiking, rock climbing, or spelunking, um, and especially reading, of course. Most recently, he has let Heather in on that circle of friends and the things they do together, so congratulations. Um, if you'd all raise a glass, Dylan and Heather, may you continue to do what you love and who you do it with. Hi. You look gorgeous. <laughs> nice to you. Hi. How your are you? Your train is beautiful. <laughs> Not too long. Not too long. Okay. Just the right line. You have your vest on. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. You ready? Yes. I think ready? so. Are you? Mm -hmm. Has it hit you yet? Yep. Okay. I had my moment of panic earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wrote a beautiful note. Thank you. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I Thank loved you. yours. I love you. And I'm not wearing the socks, but I'll wear them later. That's okay. <laughs> That's why I have my little PS. That was too cute. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. You breathing? Mm -hmm. You ready? Are you? I'm breathing now. I think I'll keep her. <laughs> yeah, a little late. A little late.
Dylan and Heather have found their destiny in each other. They found the one with whom they can be completely themselves, the one who understands and accepts them as they are, complete and total nerds, their words, not mine, the one who shares many of the same interests and who truly gets them. When I asked Dylan what he loves most about Heather, he used those exact words, she gets me. And he said that Heather is very thoughtful and can read his moods, knowing just what he needs at any given time. When I asked Heather what she loves most about Dylan, she echoed the sentiment by saying, I can be my weird little self with him. She says that Dylan calms her down and is the voice of reason when she needs to hear it. Both of them made a point of saying that they appreciate the teamwork and communication that they enjoy with each other and how they've had great examples of healthy marriages in both of their parents. Heather, I am so lucky to have found you. I am in love with you, as you are, because of and despite. I love that we can enjoy reading dinners together. I promise not to grumble when you trounce me yet again in annual book count. I love that you hate washing dishes, but still do your fair share. I love that you are constantly motivated to get up and swim in the morning before work. I promise to undermine you by motivating, I promise to undermine your motivation by cooking breakfast for any morning you don't get up and swim. <laughs> I love that you support me going back to school through long work days and late nights and weekends doing homework. I promise to remember that I am marrying you, not my job, and to save energy for our time together. I love that you try new things with me, even when you're really dubious. I promise that once you try th something, I'll stop trying to sneak it into our food. <laughs> I love that you picked the best kitten out of the litter, and I promise to stop pretending to be asleep when she walks on us at 4 a.m. asking to be fed. I love that you trust me unconditionally, and I promise to be worthy of that trust. I promise to respect you, to be faithful to you, and be honest with you. I promise to be the steady constant in your life, to be your rock. I promise to love who you are now, and I promise to push you to grow. I promise to grow with you. Before our friends and family, these are the vows I make to you. Dylan, two years ago, we were just beginning our love story. Now, in front of our closest family and friends, we get to start a brand new chapter of our lives together. I am so honored to be here today to become your wife. You are the most thoughtful and genuine man that I know. You push me to step out of my comfort zone and try new things. You remind me that I don't need to worry about every single little detail. <laughs> Most of all, you show me each and every day that you love me. I promise to stand by you during times of celebration and hardship. I promise to encourage you and to challenge you. I promise to learn and to grow with you as we experience new things together. I can't promise that I will be able to keep up with you on our bike rides, <laughs> but I'll try my best. You bring out the best version of me, and I hope that I can do the same for you. From this day forward, I will look to each day with the joy of knowing that my tomorrow includes you. As I take my place as your wife, all I ask is that you always trust you can look for me to, for love, friendship, and support, as I will rely on you for these things as we journey through our lives together. I am blessed to have you for the rest of my life as my best friend and my husband. I love you. Oh,
now by the power vested in me, it gives me great joy to declare you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Do, 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 do. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dylan Lindsay. I've got that blue sky, I've got that sunshine, just like the birds that fly, Ooh, singing their sweet songs, like nothing could be wrong. They've got it right, no worries in sight Ooh, ooh It don't get better than this No, it don't get better than this It don't get better than this No, it don't get better than this Heather and Dylan, as the matron of honor And since I have been married for 25 years <laughs> I feel that I should offer a bit of marital advice. First, there are six magic words for a successful marriage. Dylan, repeat after me. I'm sorry, Heather, it's my fault. <laughs> I love you both, and I pray that God will bless you with a long and happy marriage and lots of little Heathers and Dylans. <laughs> I knew early on I was not going to toss a bouquet at my wedding. Um, and I know I can speak for Dylan and I both when we had amazing parents as role models for what a relationship should be. Um, but we also had amazing grandparents who served us for that as well. Um, and while we know Papa, um, BJ and Bill are looking down today, somebody else we share an anniversary with is still with us. So I wanted to give you your own bouquet today. And we are so honored to share our anniversary with you. So if you haven't met my Nana, you need to because she's a party. <laughs> No, it don't.